tonight. And now it's my real pleasure to turn things over to the current department chair, Roberto Quercia. He is a proud 1991 PhD alumnus of this program. And this program, of course, had the wisdom to hire him back in 1997 as an assistant professor. He quickly ascended through the ranks and in 2014 became the Trudier Harris Distinguished Professor in the department. Since 2006, he has been the director of the UNC Center for Community Capital. I'm not going to try to summarize his 31-page CV. <laughs> except to note uh, that he is making lasting, Im lasting impacts through his scholarly writings, the engaged work of the center, and other forms of public service. I'm grateful to him for his many contributions and his leadership in the department over these past several years. Thank you again for being here with the Carolina blue sky shining outside. I'm really pleased to give you a warm Carolina welcome here in this auditorium. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, thank you, Jonathan, for your kind words. Uh, good morning, everybody. Uh, uh, we have a full day today. And uh, um, of course, uh, we are planners, and so we are already late. Uh, so uh, let me. Let, let me start with the um, um, state of the department uh, this morning. Um, um, don't laugh. Uh, we have a mug shot of each of you in the archives. So <laughs> if, if you're ever thinking of running for office, uh, we'd be glad to send them to the National Enquirer. Um, I am Roberto Garcia. Uh, I'm the chair of the department, and as uh, Jonathan mentioned, an alumnus of the department. I was born in Argentina, where I did my undergrad in architecture. So like many of my predecessors as department head, I have a background in design. I got a master's in planning at the University of Hawaii. Don't ask me what I'm, what I'm, what I'm doing here. And where I work on a PhD from our department, uh, working under uh, Michael Stegman and Professor Bill Roy. Uh, as many of you know, I do work on issues related to housing finance, uh, policy, and economics. Um, I'm um, a link in a long chain of department heads, um, starting with Jack Parker. Uh, I became chair in 2012, uh, following a decade of significant demographic changes. Um, most of our star faculty retired during the 2000s. Um, Gatchok, uh, Kaiser, Moreau, uh, Burby, uh, Howe, following the retirement of Shirley Weiss in the 90s. All these people that most of you associate the department with, or used to associate, they are retired now. Um, they are part of the family. They still teach a course for us, and they are engaged with the department, but they are not the first face that students see when, when they come to the department. Currently, we have a very young faculty, very productive, and uh, that share the same commitment that our old faculty, that Jack Parter had originally, to providing the best educational uh, environment to our students in the field of planning. Um, other things that have characterized my um, 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 tem time of chair uh, have been, as probably you all sadly aware of, is the political realities from Raleigh that have come down over the last few years. Um, as uh, Jonathan mentioned, this is my last semester as chair. My successor is Professor Noreen McDonald. She's one of these younger professors. She teaches uh, transportation. Uh, Noreen will be the first female chair in the department. Uh, yes, indeed, something worth celebrating today. Um, today we have 14 full-time faculty, um, most um, 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 of them men still, but a high proportion of female faculty. Um, about uh, one third is foreign born, and we have one uh, minority faculty. We have also a rich um, group of um, adjunct faculties, um, part time faculty, 
um, emeriti and others that are all part of the department. Um, this really enriches what we can offer the students. We have a staff of four full-time uh, people and one part-time person. Uh, many of you may remember Caroline Turner. Uh, you probably came through the program when Caroline was part of the front office. Um, Caroline uh, passed away uh, in my first year as chair. Um, I miss her all the time. Uh, she was really part of our family, and I think it touched the lives of many of you when, when you were in our uh, uh, program. Um, every year, we uh, receive about 40, 45 new students out of a pool of, of about 200 applicants. So it's a very competitive um, um, application. At any one time, we have about from 80 to 90 master students, first and second years. Most of our master students are female these days, and many are minority. Um, every year, we also try to admit three to five new PhD students. We have a total of about 25 uh, PhD students at different stages of the program. Um, we have more an even split between male and female, um, and we have a significant proportion of minorities in that program. We continue to attract um, the top students, as when you were a student here, although that's becoming an increasing challenge to compete with our peer institutions, uh, MIT, um, uh, UPenn, and others, who have much more deeper pockets than we do. Uh, finally, um, who we are today is you. We have about as Jonathan mentioned, 2,200 alum. Uh, you all live in many parts, all parts of the country and many parts of the world. So the, the brand of our department uh, continues to live and expand uh, through your work in many parts of the world. So thank you for that. Um, there are many things that I could report to you um, over the last uh, few years. Um, the um, faculty continue to be as productive as ever. Our young faculty are really, really productive. Uh, it puts some of us, uh, senior faculty, to shame at times. Um, our master's program was uh, re-accredited um, recently. Uh, we're very, very happy with that. Our PhD program was successfully reviewed. Uh, two of our students' organizations, Planners Forums and the Carolina Planning Journal, won the uh, 2016 APA Outstanding Planning Student Organization Award. This is a huge um, uh, recognition to the work of the students um, because it really uh, competed with uh, pl student organizations in all planning departments around the country. Is anybody here from Planners Forum and Carolina Planning Journal? If you could stand, please. Um, the department over the last few years have also been engaged in the revival of the Carolina Planning Alumni Association. Um, uh, after a few years of hibernation, uh, the uh, organization is reviving. Uh, it's not there yet, but we are in the process of doing that. And we hope to have it up and running in, in the not too distant future. You will hear more about this throughout the day and at dinner. We also support alumni gathering throughout the country. Uh, this is uh, driven by student interest. If you, um, as you probably know, there are probably several other alums in your community as well, wherever you live. And so if you're interested in hosting one of these, just let me know and I will put you in contact with the students and we try to coordinate one of these gatherings in your communities. The department also has been increasingly involved with the uh, program of, on Chinese cities. Uh, this program is run at uh, the Center for Urban and Re Regional Studies under Professor Bill Roy. And this has been very successful. Uh, we have a huge exchange of scholars. We have had over the last few years 150 planning scholars from China. Uh, they really uh, enrich what we, what we offer in the classroom to our own students, bringing that perspective from another country. Uh, many of our faculty has gone to China under this program, and uh, um, it, this program um, has been a, a real asset for us. We have also signed a number of agreements with uh, universities out in China. Um, I was, as I was trying to put the presentation together, I was trying to have one slide that would kind of captures 
both the opportunities and challenges the department is facing. And here you have it. And based on, uh, based on your decade, you can see what your tuition was. And you can also see what your uh, financial assistance was. And as you can see, as um, somebody used to say, uh, tuition has gone up through the elevator, while the financial assistance goes up through the staircase. Um, the, um, one thing that, as I was putting this table together, I noticed was that until the 1980s, the financial aid was actually larger than the tuition, what we would call today a livable wage. Uh, unfortunately, that changed uh, over the last few years. And as you can see, um, the um, 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 uh, financial aid now doesn't even cover a fraction of the tuition. Um, obviously, these are minimum stipends required by the university. Unfortunately, due to the financial crisis and the new budgetary and political realities in, in Raleigh, the money we have available to provide financial aid has also uh, shrunk over time. Uh, from a peak before the recession of about uh, 180,000, we have about 130,000 today to give our students. In addition, the tuition remission money we used to get um, have also shrunk over time. And uh, again, I want to commend the college. I know this, um, um, these numbers could have been much worse. I think we have had a great advocate at the college table in Jonathan and the dean. And, uh, um, but again, um, this is our main challenge. If we want to um, retain and attract the top students, these slides tell the story of our challenge. Um, going forward, um, I'm as chair and Noreen as the next chair and the department as a whole. We continue uh, to, with our commitment to provide the best educational experience to the next generation of professional planners for our PhD stud uh, master students, to produce outstanding teachers, researchers among our PhD students, to conduct high quality research on key social issues, to translate that research on into innovative practices that all of you practicing planners can use in the field, and basically to serve both the um, state uh, of North Carolina and the world, and the world beyond. Uh, we, have a, we believe very passionately about this. We continue to have the same commitment to better our communities and the world that our founders did many, many decades ago. Um, we all have a role to play. We at the department can do what we do, and uh, we will continue to have that commitment to all of you. But we also need a stronger links to all of you. Um, we can, our curriculum can improve, our career placement can improve, our department can become stronger with your involvement. Um, one uh, means to do that, of course, is the revival of the Carolina uh, Planning Associ Alumni Association. Uh, many of you participate in our classes as guest speakers or uh, um, guests um, in panels to give feedback to students. The more you get involved with the department, the better and the best that we can offer our students. Also, uh, we need you to expand the resources available uh, to the CRP. Uh, for the master's program, given our resources, we can only offer at best a one-year support our peer institutions offer a full ride for two years. For our PhD programs, at best we can offer three years of support. Our peer institutions offer a full ride, four and five years of support. So it's crucially important for us to uh, 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 complement the resources we get from the university and the college to be able to serve the students in the best way. Um, as met, uh, Jonathan mentioned, we have a new campaign, capital campaign, and the way in the prior campaign, uh, the CRP alumna like you uh, raise, <laughs> I'm still there, my computer is making funny noises here. Um, um, in the prior campaign, um, um, the CRP alumna like you raised over $650,000. That's a huge accomplishment. Uh, this accomplishment, of course, uh, reflects the work of my predecessor, Emil Benissi, and his leadership. He and many of you founded the Founders Chairs. And uh, uh, we are... Um, um,
uh, our, our hope is to top Emil's record uh, in, the in, the next camp in the new campaign, and so uh, that includes all of us um, uh, participating. Um, over the last year alone, I have continued Emil's leadership and example in fundraising. Um, with regard to our Stu 100 challenge, uh, over $1,000 for each of um, Stu's 100 years, I'm glad to report that we raised more than that. Uh, we raised $120,000, so thank you to all of you. Um, um, I guess Stu has to live at least 20, 000, 20 more years. Um, <laughs> Um, over the last year, we have also finalized the arrangement of the McDonald Brower Sustainability Summer Internship Fund. And I don't know if Scott is here. Thank you. Um, under this initiative, two students per year will get support to work on sustainability issues throughout the summer. So, uh, of their choice. So, it's really a, a, a huge uh, uh, resource for the students to pursue an area of interest within sustainability that eventually may, be, may become the core of their master's project. So, thank you, thank you Scott, for your generosity of, to the department. Um, other examples uh, of uh, participation include the fellowship created by the Kenwood family. I don't know if Cliff is here. Uh, and Mark McCann multi-year and restricted funds pledge uh, that will support our ability to uh, retain and attract students. So if Mark, you're here, thank you. Um, and finally, I would like to recognize um, uh, Bob and Helen Seiler. Um, um, they um, have pro are providing the support for many of the weekend activities, including support for the silent lecture you will hear this afternoon. And uh, Bob and Helen, as well as many of you, um, um, subsidize the uh, participation and uh, presence of many of our students here. So I really appreciate your generosity. Um, uh, yes, I'm almost done. Uh, uh, so what's next? Uh, if you're interested in exploring options to uh, support the department in any way you can, uh, you can or, or would like to explore, uh, please contact the Arts and Science Foundation. Uh, Rhonda Manuel and Stevan Dossier are here, if you could raise your hand. Uh, and uh, you can talk to them or talk to me. Uh, I'd be glad to answer any, any questions uh, you, may, you may have. Um, we have a, a, a time for a couple of questions from the audience about my presentation of the department. I'd be glad to answer before I pass, leave the stage to Professor Nicola Lowe. Um, any questions? Yes? Uh, well, excuse me? Oh, I didn't recognize, yes, um, my apologies for that. Um, Emily is correct. I should have mentioned that uh, uh, Professor Yang Song, if, um, uh, <laughs> he is in charge of the uh, China program, and um, 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 it's, uh, it's been really uh, great um, to, um, for her to have her leadership. And uh, again, the department has been a richer place because of that program. And my shelves are full of teas from China. So thank you. Uh, thank you, Emma. Um, any other comments, questions? Anyway, if you have any questions about the program uh, throughout the day, you can catch me and any of our faculty. Uh, we would like to talk about things we love, and one of them is the department, so please do so. Um, so uh, um, we are tweeting at the event, so you can uh, do that. And if you have any, I know you all have cell phones, so if you take any good picture or bad picture of some of your <laughs> classmates, please uh, send it to Udo or Nicola. Uh, we'll, we'll select a number of them and create a site uh, where we can all uh, go and remember our great weekend um, um, uh, yesterday and today. Uh, many people have helped us plan this weekend. Um, let me start by thanking our alumni that participated in the advisory committee to the event. If you could stand, please, to be recognized. Um, 
uh, this alumna did not, uh, not only offer uh, great wisdom uh, about how to, what to do throughout the weekend, but also uh, reach out to other alumni uh, in their class and beyond to invite them to attend. So really have been great ambassadors to the department. I also want to thank uh, Lindsay Moriarty, uh, alumna and chef extraordinaire. You have tasted some of her uh, things. Uh, so uh, Lindsay, are you here? She, yeah, no, but thank you anyway. Um, um, uh, Daniel uh, Hedling um, created the um, um, watercolor that uh, you have seen in the program um, and all materials related to the 70th anniversary. He donated that to the department uh, to be displayed, so thank you for that. I also want to thank Matt uh, um, uh, Tomasulu, along with student uh, Stephanie Tupperberg, uh, for helping customize the Walk Your City platform for this afternoon campus tour. I highly encourage you to take that tour this afternoon. Uh, uh, Matt is uh, recognized nationally for uh, the way he does tours, and so this will be kind of a great opportunity for you to know the technology as well as see campus from a different perspective. Um, I also like to recognize our hardworking staff, and if you can stand, as I mentioned, uh, Shannon Brownfield, Jennifer Butler, Udo Reisinger, and Teresa Fan, and the student. <laughs> And our student representative, Annie Bowman Mitchell, uh, who managed all the uh, different moving parts that lead, led to this weekend, um, they were also able to navigate very diplomatically umpteen anticipating challenges that um, um, very skillfully. So the department has been in very good hands in this planning. Finally, uh, Rhonda Manuel and, uh, at the Arts and Science Foundation and Tania Pettis at the General Alumna Association have been working with us for months to make this weekend happen, so thank you. Um, so now before I leave the stage to Nicola, uh, let me say something about Professor um, Loeb. Uh, she was the master planner for the event. Um, she um, um, made a mistake last fall to volunteer <laughs> uh, to, uh, uh, with, the, with the famous words, I like to organize parties. <laughs> so uh, we are about 270 people, so probably you are the biggest party she ever organized. And uh, uh, everything has worked great, and uh, it couldn't have happened better. So thank you on behalf of all of us, Nicolas. <laughs> <laughs> 